Okay, well, you're getting a little bit of a conflicting message. It's sort of like, should I leave it alone? Should I go for it? Should I leave it alone? So you're kind of like um, going back and forth, like flip-flopping back and forth as to what is the best course of action to take, which direction to go. So you're very indecisive coming through for this month. And, you know, sometimes when we are inundated with a lot of choices or even if there are only two options and we don't really know which way to go it would be very important to consult somebody okay and this is somebody who is very impartial and this is um a re it can also be just a religious leader a spiritual leader or somebody who is a head of an organization an institution usually this is a very religious card and um I do feel for a lot of you, you're kind of flip-flopping back and forth here because the death card, which indicates changes and new um, new ways of doing, new ways of um, being, it's being, it's right next to the selling away card. So, and all of these things indicates to me very, very severe inner conflict that you need to, to work through in order for you to figure out how you want to proceed. So I'm going to pull the other two card, last two cards. Okay, we have a jumper. Yeah, so intense inner conflict coming through. Okay, so I, I feel that um, I understand. It's interesting. Um, Capricorn got the same card in the same position. So for a lot of you... You might be dealing with a Capricorn, or let's just go through this here. All right, so once again, at the heart of this reading is this very, very intense emotional uh, situation where you are conflicted about how you want to proceed, okay? And I'm going to say that the decision, if you are so Aquarius are very, very good at making decisions. So I do feel that this is basically a yes or a no type of a decision that you're taking. Do I do this? Yes or no. So it, I don't feel that you have like many, many decisions to make. It's just a very simple yes or no. However, it is a very emotional decision because at the heart of it, we have all these cups energy. So you're. this is something that maybe you're not comfortable with or it could just be a decision that is um, there's so much at stake there is so much emotional happiness at stake there is so much where you know where the other person and, and you feel so greatly about one another that you don't really want you want the status quo you don't want to make any changes and risk destabilizing that emotional stability okay so this is a very difficult position that you find yourself in and I'm going to say that it's actually not that difficult of a decision so the first things here is whatever you decide to do it seems like the two options are both very very good okay so you're walking away from one situation that brought in emotional bliss and happiness and you're going to the next situation which is bringing about a very strong karmic connection a very strong even like a soulmate connection so I don't feel that you're going to have any troubles I do feel that whoever this person is where you feel this you know very strong emotional connection with Emotionally, you're connected, but I do feel ideologically or even on a philosophical level, there might be, you know, just disagreements overall. And you're starting to feel like, well, I don't know if I want to put up with this, mainly because, you know, if we don't see eye to eye on many of life's issues and, and many of, of life's like philosophies, how will we have anything stable in the future? Well, the cards are advising you that, you know, sometimes you don't have to be the exact replica of another person and the other person doesn't always have to agree with you. It's actually the complementarities that make the relationship interesting and it's the complementarities that allow 
people to learn from one another when they choose to get into relationships with somebody who's very different from them, okay? So I do sense that this is something that you're grappling with. At the same time, I'm sensing here as well, there is definitely a figure from your past. This is a past relationship um, partner that is trying to come back into your life. And I'm going to say here, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, it can be a water sign, okay? This is a past person coming into your life. So this is somebody that you were once romantically involved with. For those of you who are single or coupled right now, whatever the case is, I'm going to warn you against that past energy trying to come into your life because what I'm sensing here is that we have the star card, which is, you know, being spiritually guided and uh, where you have, um, you have walked from a very dark situation and you, you walked into the light, okay? When it's in the reverse position like this, and especially coming out so early in the beginning of the month, I feel that a lot of you have done, a, um, you know, spiritual healing, cleansing, what have you, and you are kind of like almost, almost, almost done doing the, the, the work on yourself. And then this figure decides to come back, and it's, it's sort of like, um, it seems to me very, very cyclical. So if you've been hurt in the past and someone, you know, whoever it was that, that hurt you is um, trying to come back, just take some time off from it and not deal with that at all. Because I feel like you've done a lot of healing and you're at a very good point in your life where, you know, things are going exactly the way that you anticipated. And you're in a very good place right now where you feel good about yourself. You're feeling confident. You're comfortable in your own skin. And it's kind of like that last leg of the journey of the healing process. And then this person decides to come back. So for a lot of you, um, I'm going to advise against that. Okay. They might not be a bad person, but it's just that do some finish that healing work first and then come back to this situation when you are a little bit more emotionally well okay so that would be my advice going back to a situation is not advisable all right you're flip-flopping here and i do sense that this is just something that um, makes you really uncomfortable because I, I'm sensing here that once an Aquarius, it's a fixed sign, once an Aquarius makes up their mind what they want to do, it's very simple. But the process of making up your mind is, is what's throwing you for a loop because it's an emotional decision and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed here, okay? So seek advice from a spiritual leader. Find that, um, you know, talk to your spirit guides. Tell them to give you some sort of insight in your dreams if you need to, to find whatever it is that, um, to, to find the closure or to find the guidance that you need, all right? I do feel a lot of indecisiveness flip-flopping back and forth inner conflicts coming through and then you know the I, I don't even sense the mental energy plaguing you I do feel this is more of a an emotional energy but I don't feel that you're emotionally rattled it's almost as if you know with in the past especially November December even or in the past you feel like okay things are not going the way that I want and now that everything is starting to come full circle where you're starting to get everything coming into your life in the order that you want and you're starting to feel very emotionally happy, you don't quite trust it. It seems that way to me. Um, a lot of you might just be in a position where you are getting a love offer from somebody who is, you know, in it for the long haul. OK, they might want a very long term committed relationship with you. So I'm definitely feeling this for a lot of you. This is a card about commitment here with the um, six of cups, which indicates a very faded karmic relationship on top of the hierophant, which indicates to me, you know, it is going to happen. So for a lot of you, you might be thinking about 
marriage or you might get an offer of marriage for for a lot of you I, I I do sense that coming through where you have an opportunity here to decide and once again that is not a light decision or it's not something that we can just decide on a whim okay really think about it if that is something that you're grappling with then this makes perfect sense because like I said it is a very emotional emotional decision and it is not something that you want to make lightly. And, you know, once again, um, I do feel that Aquarius are somewhat of com um, commitment phobes. So it might be that, the whole freedom um, commitment syndrome coming through that you're, you have to grapple with, okay? It seems to me as if, um, for a lot of you, you, you feel like, you feel like you've done so much growth, so much movement, and it seems like life is coming back full circle. It's sort of like we, we go off and we try to do things, and then we end up where we started. Not in the spirit of, um, not in, in the spirit of, you know, all for nothing, but it, it's that, you know, you go off and you're hoping to find something in your life, and you feel like, in the process of trying to find yourself or in the process to find what it is that you feel that you're missing it has been right in front of you the whole time so January is going to be a month where you start to see that whatever you were looking for was right there you were just so adamant or you had like a vision in your mind what it should look like and you you basically overlooked what was right there, okay? So it's a little bit of an irony com coming in for January, and it's forcing you to re-examine things that are literally right in front of your face, okay? So this is a month also where you might need to take care of things on a practical level, okay? Because I do feel all this emotional energy coming in. It is very fruitful, and it, it makes you feel good. But I do sense that... Um, practicality is going to be required of you. I do sense as well it is going to be quite a busy energy. So this is something you want to keep in mind for um, just to keep yourself focused and just to get all your responsibilities taken care of. Okay, so that you're not... Um, I'm also sensing a lot of communication from far away, especially with um, people from overseas and things like that. So there might be miscommunication. And once again, you know, January does bring an opportunity for people from our past to come back because of the Mercury in retrograde. It can also create communication problems or communication blockages between people. So that is something to anticipate. But I definitely do feel that for a lot of you, the um, Mercury retrograde energy is, is basically telling you that you you started on a journey and you know from a to b and what ends up happening is that you know you you feel like getting to b is going to drastically change your life but getting to b was just the next step and you feel that the journey is not complete yet but you've you were able to find a lot of the things you were able to figure out that things were right there all along okay so this is a confirmation here that you're on the right track and you're going the right way so I want you to take the time this month to really connect with your spirit guys to really um, ask for that you know guidance in the, the confirmation this is a month in which signs and signals are in abundance all around you because we do have some very very heavy hitters that indicates to me you know divine protection divine guidance coming through in a spiritual sense so I definitely sense that um, doing some meditation um, keeping keeping your eyes peeled for I keep hearing things are right in front of you okay you don't have to leave the house you don't even have to go very far to find exactly what it is that you're looking for because it's literally right in front of you so it, it's all this flip-flopping around 
that you you're confusing yourself so once you figure out what you want to do and once you figure out who it is that you want to be with the person is literally right in front of you so that's the really strong message that I want to um, get across for Aquarius because I'm sensing that you're exerting so much energy scrambling around and running around trying to find whatever it is that will bring you that total emotional happiness when it's actually right there and you're trying to like um it's almost as if you're trying to find the person the the ideal person um to fit into so you you have a mold here okay of the ideal person or the ideal situation the ideal job whatever it could be it may be and you're trying to find the the object or the person to fit into that mold and you're trying multiple things and you're kind of wearing yourself out so just calm down a little bit and the whatever it is that you're looking for is actually going to be right there so I can't emphasize that enough so just take it easy when we take a step back and trust that the universe will deliver the universe will deliver okay so that's the ultimate advice here for those of you who are out there dating I definitely feel that you are going to get a lot of serious serious suitors so that means you know people vying for your attention first of all okay a lot of competition but I do feel that the competition is not coming in from the person that you like I do feel the competition is coming through from the people that like you so there is definitely a lot of people who have um, who are making you know the gesture of love or who are giving you an offer of love and friendship even but I feel very very greatly love is indicated and they are in it for the long haul so I just want you to keep that in mind you're dealing with people who are very serious who have serious intentions so make sure you also have serious intentions and that you don't give them mixed signals or that you're not playing with their hearts okay so that's the first thing secondly I'm going to say that the past energy especially just some um, you know especially if you've been dealing with a water sign okay so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, if you've been dealing with a water sign who is trying to come back, you really, I feel that this person is very adamant about getting you to, to hear what they have to say or getting you back into their life or promising or even painting a very idealistic, blissful image just to get you to come back. But I don't feel you're going to fall for it. And... Um, I just want to say that you know you don't have to feel guilty about giving somebody an explanation okay if the relationship has been very problematic and you feel as if the um, the whole letting go and getting over that person the whole process has been very painful and you feel like it's still a raw spot give yourself the time off you don't need to explain things to them now you can do it later if you feel like it but when a relationship ends it is important for while it is important for both parties to find closure with one another and within that relationship if you can't if you feel like the timing is not right then don't you know don't bother don't do it okay wait until the whole healing process have, has taken place and then you can you know come back and re-engage in that situation when you're not so emotionally um, I guess like invested in it when you're able to detach yourself a little bit you're able to converse with one another and have that communication where you know things don't have to be a battle things can be smooth okay so just you don't have to resolve anything you don't owe anybody an explanation so don't do it if you're not ready okay um, so Aquarius I do sense as well this is going to be a really really good month and for those of you who are in stable relationships I even feel that the relationship is going to the next level here with a very serious commitment this can just be you know getting engaged or physically getting married moving in together taking the relationship to the next step where both parties are pretty much sure that they want to be together okay um, for those of you who are single like I said 
get out there and circulate because there is a very, very strong soul connection coming through from another person. I feel like for the past few months, you've been getting a lot of lovers card and, and things like that, like a lot of very positive cards. I didn't do the December reading and I apologize, but um, I don't know what you would have gotten in December, but I definitely feel something is coming in for you. And it's um, the universe works in very mysterious and strange ways. But um, it's sort of like, I feel that for, for m most of us, when we want something and that, that thing is right there, the universe tends to test us to see if that's what we really want, usually by bringing up obstacles or bringing up people from the past so that you can do a comparison. So that's something that I've, I've seen happen many, many times. And I feel like that's what's happening here because there is something here that you really, really want. And it is everything that you've hoped for. It can be a person. I feel like it's a relationship because of all the cups energy. But there is some something that is difficult to overcome about it. So you're going to have to be creative and figure this one out. But I do feel it is a very fruitful it can be a companionship, friendship, or a relationship. And I feel a relationship is greatly indicated here. So not only does the universe throw in this curveball for you to make sure that you really want it or for you to be sure that this is something that you really want and then you're going to be able to overcome this obstacle. It's also bringing up somebody from your past so that you can lay both people side by side and then you can decide for yourself if this new thing is something that you really really want okay so it's a new energy coming through um do away with the past i don't feel it's going to be in your best interest to re-engage okay so make up your mind what you want to do and don't waste time this uh, month because i do feel that once again if you're watching this by the way um try to not do anything you know, make major drastic decisions during the Mercury and retrograde period, okay? But everything else should be fine. But um, I do sense that you just need to make up your mind so that you're not flip-flopping back and forth and being indecisive because it's um, it seems to me like it's a very uncomfortable place for you to be.